archaeologists, I'm the John Sucked. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a Final Fantasy 16 adventure. My word, they've, they've made 16 of these. Are they all just like this? Ah, oh, let's load our game. Otherwise, we'll just be staring at this cool ass screen all this time. Uh, and it is it's a very nice screen, but I, I'd, I'd prefer to play computer games. Uh, Oh, there are autosaves. Let's try the continue button instead. Oh, yes, of course. Now I remember. That's a curious mix of flavors. Mm. Let us go. To the three reeds. Rising waters transformed once fertile farmland into noisome morass, rendering it nigh uninhabitable, uninhabitable, nigh uninhabitable to all but leeches and lizards. But I like lizards. Leeches less so. But I like lizards. Hmm. Let's add a little light. Just a little light. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Because she does ice, icy. She has shiver. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. The Imperial Province of Vazaria. We should press on. It's a homecoming. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's Rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. The Imperial Province of Vasaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital, and the duchy was left leaderless in the aftermath of the attack on the Phoenix Gate. In the year 8060, the Iron Blood seized opportunity to attack the capital. Their campaign did not last long, however, as the Holy Empire of Sambric soon returned in full force to take its own claim, leaving the once proud Tutsi no choice but to submit and become an imperial vassal state. They just gave an install Jill, basically. Ooh, Longhorn! Well, the travelers on the road, that's cool. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperial. Maybe it's a friendly Longhorn. Um, I saw a Longhorn also in um, the Final Fantasy Rebirth trailer. Big horn even, not Longhorn. How tall are you? He is very tall.
resistance point. It's fucking too slow. Get them all you've got, boy. My wounds, boy. A little help. Honestly, I just thought it'd be dead. Oh, he cray cray. Martha. Okay. Third quest. See some chocobos. We never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. God, you can't even do Final Fantasy 1. That's the first thing that happens. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted bursts must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. You know, it's funny, late as it was. Oh, give them the cargo. But something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there quick, mind. Might as well. What a bird wants. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. I'm just gonna weirdly stare at you for a bit. Oh, they want what's in there. I enjoy the bird noises. Flame! 
grenades to me! Give them all you've got, boy. Stay down! Then. Here we are. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. Stable master, I was asked to deliver this to you. A heavy wooden crate, nailed fast and branded with a courier's iron. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Gizal? Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. Free birds? Can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Just give some of pass your master my regards. Diesel greens. Some, you know, just put some over there. Oh, run out of charge. Um, no wibbly woo though, but alright, well, that's a reminder to change that. I'll be in lights working for me though by now anyway, so it's fine. You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're set upon by beasts or, or bandits. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new way to the order. Hmm. It's quite big, isn't it? Taking in the view. Like you can't go everywhere. Uh so like over there. Do I have my sound? I do, lovely. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? There he goes to East Pool, we'll leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is over. Do you like that? Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Honest work building the aqueduct. It 
Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. Don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Okay, it's not really a side quest, but whatever. It's a side main quest. Let's find that ladder. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Any goes to Eastpool, leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when you Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. It's very quick to get on that ladder. How did you get down here? I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You keep that sword in its sheath. Oh, 
I like its wiggly legs while it flew in the air. I think it was going, no! Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. Slavering. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but well, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Right. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I was supposed to be the... Uh, Traveller is vexed. Vexed, I tell you. I'm vexed as well because I took the law around around. Hello, chicken. You ain't pulled oh. that sword from its scabbard in days. Come on, come inside. Oh, that's not a couple. Might be a couple. I can't tell. Martha! Oh. On dressing greens of ge geesel? Never lay down raw lest bitter juices inspire violent retching, loose bowels, void the fry pan, lest foul stink tink the iron, rendering it none better than slag, uh, and by no means put to stew lest the vapors over excite st stable. St stable boys? Uh, if suffered the, the fodder, one must. First mix with nine parts Drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for quarter moon, lesson malador. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. So, the one thing, because if they want to, like, they want this to be the most professional game, the most, like, open-armed games in existence, right? Uh, but there's always, like, this weird pause whenever anyone finishes a conversation that kind of feels a tiny bit awkward. Uh, maybe these should fade out faster. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, 
There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient, all right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Oh. Why is it pretending these are side quests? Anything catch your eye? What did you have a Gaia blade? Oh, I forget you can buy these. Much obliged. For a brief second there. It was almost like I was playing an RPG. Yeah, at least we have towns and shops. Um, I, yeah, I can see where that complaint comes from. I don't mind it myself. Uh, I, I think I said before, it feels like they uh, they wanted to be like go, uh, God of War. It wanted to be a prestige, uh, like the sort of modern prestige computer game. Modern prestige computer games are high in cutscenes. And assumed it was best for all concerned. Okay. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. No. I like the towns. I like the shops. Uh, I don't mind the cutscenes because uh, Final Fantasy kind of fames itself on its cutscenes. There are a lot though. Stay uh... down. Yeah! 
Oh, one day I'll play Final Fantasy 15. Won't lie, I wasn't a fan. I mean, I, I never finished it, and I didn't even get close. I think I was on like chapter nine, but I will. I'm enjoying this a lot more than Final Fantasy 15. Ah, green chocobo. That looks like a green chocobo. Maybe it's armored. To the Abbey. Oh, there are green chocobo. Oh, that's cool. It's a bluebird. The fuck's a bluebird? That's a chocobo. I don't want to fight you. All right, fine. We'll fight one. Oh, all the wild chocobos are fighting me. Oh, I feel like a monster fighting the chocobos. What are they? Megalo crabs! Level up. <laughs> I went off the beaten path. I was distracted by the existence of crabs. When I do play Final Fantasy 15, I'm just going to not do any side quests, so. I think I'll be a, a lot happier. Spiders. That's these open world areas again, like God of War. It's a linear game, but it has these little, it has these big areas. I'm assuming Final Fantasy Rebirth is going to be like this as well. But occasionally, it gives you this freedom. Some token quests. Day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I 
I never finished that series of Castlevania. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light... It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. They've been working in the mines. The curse has taken them. Ah, the, uh, okay, this is just a new thing. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. It's a little less anime than Tales of Arise. Still a little bit anime though. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. There's people in there. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Martha. It was good, honest work. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. 
So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. It's a, the slumbering chocobo seal. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Quest complete! Neat. I've not needed money for ages, but it gives me it still. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of me walking out the door. It's cut scene again. <gasps> Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Has he got the curse? Have they introduced somebody with a curse immediately after? <laughs> immediately after introducing the concept. Misconduct. Oh, he's he didn't use his finger to light a cigarette. That's actually really subtle. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid, for everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. How old is he supposed to be? But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. 
Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. I think I liked Final Fantasy 13 more than 15 as well. <laughs> oh, there's side quests. Well, you can't possibly move on without doing these side quests. Have to find him before the Imperials do. Is that Benham? Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? What do those buttonholes do? All about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now... One of his erstwhile friends and neighbours wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive... This might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. Well, that's where I came from. You have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Him turning away and doing that's better. To find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. about being played false, I wonder. The other quest is here. Fear, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? What do the buttonholes do? Luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. You salt. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. How did you two get down here? Bog. 
crabs eating crystal. Crab. This should be interesting. It's over. You can't have all of eating the crab. Garuda, lend me your. I didn't know what hit him. Don't let them get away. Done yet, apparently. Stay down. Oh. Well, that sucks. Be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have I'm to. sorry to hear that. It costs a lot of money to buy a house. And I don't mean the cost of the house either. I'll be glad to be over and done with them. Taking fucking ages as well. I've got to worry about packing now. I did keep the boxes for this exercise machine. Hopefully that'll do. I've got a couple of those. Uh, are we going across the bridge? Oh, hang on. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. Oh, thick, thick membrane of fetid muck covers this crystal, which is still in its holder otherwise appears undamaged. You found it! Oh, thank you! I think I got relatively lucky, apart from the fact at least a couple of people I was dealing with, at least three, went on a holiday while I was trying to do it. Probably why it took so long. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. It was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. I'm gonna last forever. The one thing that did annoy me that my solicitor made me do is I had my the building surveyed, so they did a they did the surveying thing. I did my own builder's survey, then I had to do another mining report on top of that because they recommended it. it would be nice. It's going to be quite difficult to prosecute a solicitor because they've probably made you writ you know, you've probably written down something that will get them out of liability. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Hmm. How do I get down there? I guess the ladder? Oh, I don't need to take the ladder. I can just go like over here. Yeah. 
You barely have to step out of your front door. Let me jump over that little fence. That's one of them. You can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. It should be. Unfortunately, rich people get to make good laws. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. We are probably doing a witcher right now, aren't we? Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. What time is it? Are we on the hour? Oh, there you are. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I oh, yeah. will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. It's just because they get to write all the laws, don't they? Kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. I'll wait until this to stop finishing. That's uh, all. We never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. You tired? Um, yeah, it's uh, what was I gonna say? I've gone now. Um Uh just about like, you know, like con men and grifters. because uh, obviously uh it's uh there's a certain uh I I hmm. I'll put it a different way, uh, which is going to be easier for my brain. Because uh, you, you, you always used to get complaints about like people on the doll or... Oh, um, here's a good example, I think. Um, when Grenfell happened and they wouldn't pay out the people of Grenfell because they were worried somebody was going to like pretend they lived in Grenfell and steal the money. And I've always been of the opinion, I don't give a fuck about low level like grifters like if they're grifting off companies and stuff like that i don't give a fuck because like they're just getting by but it's like as long as they're like but as soon as they start doing it on like a higher level it's like for some reason we let like massive corporations get away with shit like that uh like and then people always trying to convince you like to, to, to be angry at mums uh poor mums taking longer holidays than they should and stuff like that and i'm like there's people taking millions and millions of pounds worth of stuff. I don't give a crap if she takes, like, an extra holiday on the dollar or whatever. But yeah. The laws only get... Four people. Oh, I learned a fact the other day. Uh, because, of, because I'm buying a house. Um, t uh, technically... Um, like in the UK, to be working class, 
you have to be own you have to own a house and before that like there's a lower thing which is not like a cons conscript there's a word for it that i can't remember now and like so i'm i'm about to be working class um i'm pretty sure that yeah uh i watch a lot of um there's a youtube channel called philosophy tube uh, and there's one uh video about the nature of violence um uh we could probably just teleport there uh because uh it's it's very easy to be like oh i'm against violence uh and then then they they sort of explained you know the police uh obviously military is violence as well it's like a state sponsored violence but also just like the police are violence like if you don't want to be arrested they have to take you in against your will that's a form of violence and like so are you, are you pro that fight like are you really anti-violence you who gets the it, yeah it's I, I can't do an entire explain an entire kind of quite a deep philosophy on a certain thing but like yes uh it's when you realize like are, are the police really there for your protection or are they there just to uh keep keep people's rich people's stuff to them uh, are they there to keep the status quo in place this is doubly true for America. I'll go myself. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who we'll want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. carry on with our main quest thank you camera for give me there we go uh control there we uh oh well, yeah i meant to take the local but um i we've not been there yet north uh you know what game occasionally a compass would come in handy do appreciate it's literally telling me where to go though the levees Oh, we fixed the bridge. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. There are definitely pallet swaps. I don't know if they count. Oh, hang on. Crystal's Curse, the price bearers and dominance pay for, oh, dominance as well, for channeling ether through their bodies. This gradual petrification of their flesh does not affect those who use crystal to cast magic's beginning of stiffness making the extremities as the curse progresses limbs oh that's probably why Sid didn't die uh, rendered immobile and pain unbearable at last the victim turns completely to stone and their body crumbles into dust there's no known cure in gate uh, the remains of the fortress destroyed in year 860 what is known as the night of, of the flames 
Uh, the castle was invasion by Sambuqua saboteurs and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. The earth is still riddled with fissures and tears, a testament to the ferocity of the fight that unfolded here. The gate itself was buried beneath piles of soot stained rubble, with it Rosario's pride falling as the duchy did to the Empire not long afterwards. I'm sure we'll get to fight one of those widows soon enough. Uh, there's another side quest. Yeah, there's Arachne. There's a Gloom Widow. I guess it does poison damage. Oh, well, fine for this one. my look a branded no time to haggle with whoever holds your leash wait that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing you want a marfrys are you good she won't begrudge me the use of you then not while there's wolves about we tried dealing with them ourselves made out bait think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot but we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big i expect the blight drove them here they must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. They'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something new. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Yeah, sure. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Beast against the beast. I found him. Over there, broken hilt. There is. Are you Bryce? What's it to you, bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh, Frederick, you oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Well, second half, all the sound of Kyle. Oh. Guess I'll be buying that music at some point because there's nothing else to spend the money on. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Where are you looking? Point to point your arms. I don't see any windmills. Oh, I they do see windmills. There we go. I also see vampire thorns. Dear blossoms, you're not got a vampire thorn at all. You're a liar. Yeah. 
It's over now, doggo. What are you? Oh, it's a. I thought it was a friendly antelope. Get the wall you've got, boy. Wasn't a friendly an antelope. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Drink up now, <laughs> my darling. We've made it to a new village. Imperial province of Vizaria. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! Huh? It's me! Hannah! Rodney Murdoch's wife! Lady Hannah! you you haven't changed at all the lord marquis and jill too it's so good to see you both again <gasps> it's good to see you too lady hannah You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. We were betrayed by a hot mum. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Uh, buddy, he did. <sighs> You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. You were there, Clive. I... I'm sorry. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure Phoenix did that. Clive. Not here for it. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I guess it was a fuzzy night. Rest. We can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. It's the moon. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. <gasps> we anime now. <laughs> it was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others... I might not want to say that quite so loud. Then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought... Hundreds died. There were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia did that moon that turn then I think that was an optical illusion no wispy woo you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Why is she sleeping outside? Sleep well. Oh. Thank you, Lady Anna. Oh, we've changed our clothes. People will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years. Collecting yeah, they sure look it. Along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. Huh. 
Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. The designer fucking loves having those um, shoelaces. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invicta? Oh, fucking hell, we just got some cool shit. North. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Okay, but I don't care about that right now. Uh, holding on. At Martha's rest, Clive and Jill cross paths with Sid. Say their final farewells. Uh, before continuing their journey, the road ahead leads north through Viannanen's ride to Eastpool. Then on to e Phoenix Gate. It's, uh, I'm coming. Clive and Jill make for Phoenix Gate to ascertain the truth of the tragedy that occurred there 13 years before. Tragedy that led them both to being abducted from Zarya and enslaved by their enemies. They are soon to find that the intervening years have been no kinder to the land in which they were raised than they were to them. Here is lot. Oh, fucking we done loads. Um... I don't think I... You know what? I don't care about the green ones. Just, just, that's fine. We'll just read these two, though. Um, Clive and Jill are shocked to find how the bearers are hated in their former homeland. Martha ushers them to the nearby Glademond uh, Abbey that they might learn the full truth. At the Abbey, Clive and Jill come face to face with the horrific fate awaiting most bearers to slowly and painfully turn to stone over a lifetime of, of servitude. It is all Martha and her allies can do to soothe their suffering in the final hours. And in order to continue, we bit okay. It's fine. I don't need <laughs> don't need to reread that one. Okay. Uh, so we just got given some new gear. Invictus, one of one of the set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flame of uh, Mount Justinus. Uh, Invictus must have been passed, passed down for generations for use of, by the Archduke's family. His closest shields, Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Vod Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. Ah, but what if we just want to use Stormcry, a weapon we got to use for like 10 minutes before we just bought a better weapon? Um, uh, anyway, uh, Metian Cross. Metia, sometimes called Crustal, as the legend has it that the bright red star... Oh, I've seen that! Um, uh, as the moon's attendant, carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle, this belt was a part of the set owned by the Archduke Elwyn and kept in the East for, for when he and his family would summer there. Uh, Metian bonds, long-standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow, bestow a gift of science, the ducal line, upon their coming of age. These braces uh, died in red of the star Metia, well, what Elwyn's father chose for him formed part of the set of the clothes he kept in the East Pole for when he and his family put some of their... Okay. Hmm. Cool. Um, I'm happy with this. Uh, have we gained... We only got 440. We should try this out. It just means we don't get to use one of these, and I kind of like them more. But you get to do a slash. I don't understand why they give us, like... They're just sort of combat abilities. Like, I'm not really sure why I'd ever choose this over the other two. Let's speak to Gouge. Gouge does loads of stagger. Like, you know what? I will... I've changed my mind. I'm gonna... I'll take this over there. Because we're gonna replace Wicked Wheel. Uh, 320 will upgrade. That was magic. So, give me a second. Book Scamby. There we go. Let's save our game. I'll be right back. I'm going to make myself enough cup of tea and stuff. I'll be five minutes. Um, in the meantime, here's some relaxing music and art. Let us continue. Fetch! <laughs> I just want to swing the, uh... <laughs> I 
Oh, you wasn't supposed to do this, were you? Make for the Phoenix Gate. Anything take your fancy? Yes, let's replace my cool ass sword with a slightly less cool ass sword. No, I'm not getting any of that. Uh, Rook's Gambit. Uh, is that what I'm using right now? Well, I did complain that I don't get to use it. Residual wind ether that having failed to dissipate on the battlefield has instead manifested into a solid form, not unlike crystal. Okay, no, it's basically the same as what they all say. Um, Come back soon, no. Okay, well, which slot did you just equip that into, game? Or you'd give me the option to choose. Firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? To send them to the They're yours place. By right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their master. Send him to Sid. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man 
as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Okay. If you don't get to leave yet, side quests are still happening. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on. Let's go and meet that bearer. Or is this the place we walk to? He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. His final fantasy feasts? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taking the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. So... Come on, let's head for the stables. You'd think. Um... Because it just occurred to me, like, dog, bull, cat, horse, chicken. Um, but, like, Chocobo is such a common thing in this world that it would have been abbreviated. Mm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but... Is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, 
He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. That's how explaining. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Now we passed here earlier. This definitely is the... Now? Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? One second. The police here. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. <gasps> Company. Bees. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Can't go. The doggo is. Get over here. You mud dauber. Stop daubing mud. Is that what it's for? This is a very good sword. Wargan! Get over here, Wargan! You daubing mud as well. So, uh, hopefully that I'm a little bit clearer now. Not, a hum not sure how much difference it makes. <laughs> Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long that you finally came. I'm... Not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, 
I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. A final fantasy. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Oh, we just happen to know a place that takes in bearers. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid. I oh, think fuck. Who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Ooh. Hello, vegan mama. How are you? Thank you very much for the follow. I need to turn that, turn that sound effect slightly. Um, that was very loud in my ears. I believe we're going north. I am enjoying it a lot. There it is. It's a strange beast. I won't lie. Um, like, uh, it's it's very very fancy looking. I like the story very much. I I do wish there was a little bit more RPG in this RPG. Uh, and obviously there's quite it, it feels like they want to do the sort of um last of us god of war even sort of witcher they want they want to be the massive mainstream and they've uh, so they put a lot of effort into what like all the, the shine and sheen uh but at the expense of the sort of unwieldy rpg elements that i'm, I'm kind of kind of fond of myself but in its place, we have a, are aptly named. a robust combat system. They were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The light is leading me either from the soil. The dedicated the last drop is dog button. The fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. I'm sure there are monsters. Okay, my dog button is, does not work right now, so I think there are monsters. We won't be able to use any magic here. Ah. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the last Yes. Course, and problems are all that's left. Hey, yeah, I enjoyed the remake for what it was, but yeah, a part of me will always want something a little bit more faithful to the original. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. I want to be walking in that step of those. I uh, but uh, yes, I played, I played uh, Final Fantasy VII and played the remake. Um, I'm technically speaking, uh, hang on, 
Yeah, I have an uh, ambition, of course, uh, as a streamer, of completing all the Final Fantasy games, even the weird side games that probably don't count, apart from like the 11th one or possibly Crystal Chronicles. Pretty sure some of those games will be possible or headache to stream. I'll see how I feel about them when I get to those particular games, I guess. I mean, technically speaking, six, Final Fantasy 16 wasn't really supposed to be a part of that journey, but I wasn't going to not play it. I was trying to do it before, but I, I played most of them already. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Slow fade out. Hmm. I keep forgetting to use the the law button. Fancy crystals. Oh yeah, I guess this is the this is the fire crystal. Hmm. Not even been near this one yet. Oh, there is a zoom. Hang on. Oh, we are zoomed. Never mind. There's the Iron Islands. Starting to get used to the shape of the world now. Neat. Let's go to the place we're supposed to go. Uh, Phoenix Gate ruins, untouched by many winters since the stronghold's fall. The scars of that fateful night linger still upon her halls. Yes! Uh, a lot of this game seems very inspired by Game of Thrones, but like specifically that there are Iron Islanders uh, is kind of on the nose. I think mean, this writer always did medieval stuff though. They're just ruddy happy Game of Thrones made sort of medieval politics popular again. Otherwise it was trapped in like Final Fantasy Tactics and uh Final Fantasy Twelve. It's almost as if time had stood still. Vagrant story. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. It's just as I left it. That's it. Oh no, I've stepped on a snail! There's a lot of hair gel in this medieval setting. 